One of the benefits of laser cellular debridement and curtage is that it improves phase one periodontal therapy when used as an adjunct to scaling and root planing. Initially, one must perform full periodontal probing in order to establish periodontal case type, and then by utilizing probing depths, set the fiber length to the maximum pocket depth for the tooth to be treated. One must take care not to strip more than seven to eight millimeters of the plastic sheath from the fiber because the longer it is, the greater the probability of it breaking off below the gum line. The laser circular debridement phase is performed in the pulse mode setting and it is not necessary to initiate the tip of the fiber for circular decontamination. Remember the clinician, assistant, and patient must always wear wavelength specific safety glasses during laser procedures. Start with a setting of 1.0 watts. Use the minimum amount of power required to reach your treatment objectives. Start with the lower power settings for the procedure that you are performing and increase power only as needed. The next phase of treatment employs the use of ultrasonics and conventional hand instruments. The reason we begin laser periodontal therapy with circular debridement is that it results in a significant reduction of bacterial levels. This benefits the clinician and the patient by lowering sepsis levels in the aerosol given off by the spray of the ultrasonic instruments. This bactericidal effect helps reduce inflammation and supports healing within the periodontal pockets when used in combination with traditional periodontal therapy. Hand instruments are now employed to refine the subgingival surfaces of the tooth. The next step that we will demonstrate in laser periodontal therapy is laser curtage. The chief advantage of laser curtage is that it allows for a non-surgical approach, gaining easier access to deeper calculus deposits following ablation of diseased epithelium and hemorrhage control. The laser is set in a continuous mode of operation with a power setting of 0.4 to 0.6 watts. Remember that the fiber must be initiated for laser curtage. The technique utilizes a light paintbrush stroke while moving the fiber from the base of the pocket to the coronal portion of the tooth. Make sure you are aiming the laser fiber toward the lining of the epithelium and not the root surface as this technique will remove some of the diseased epithelium. In highly infected areas, light, fresh bleeding may occur. Hold the laser handpiece with a light, pen-like grasp. Keep high-speed suction next to the fiber while the laser power is on. Move the tip deliberately, always keeping it in motion. Laser curtage can take anywhere between 30 seconds to more than a minute in order to cover the entire circumference of each tooth. The amount of time that it actually takes per tooth depends on the depth of the pocket and where the pockets are located. Interproximal areas will take longer than facial or lingual surfaces. Lower anterior teeth will take less time. Molars, especially with furca involvement, will take more time. Laser curtage will take up to 10 minutes per quad of the periodontal therapy appointment. It will take 30 to 45 minutes if one is doing the entire mouth at one appointment. Because the laser fiber is so small, treatment access is made easy, even in the most challenging areas of the mouth. Be sure to provide proper oral hygiene and post-operative instructions. Pain medication is rarely indicated for laser periodontal therapy.